In this video, I'll show you how to download Sims 4 on your Mac. If you found this guide useful, then please consider subscribing. And once you've done that, then please consider leaving a like. And let's get right into this guide. The first thing you need to do to download the Sims 4 on your Mac is go and open up a browser. I tend to go and use a fry on my Mac, it's just my preferred one. Then all you need to do is once you're in a browser, is just go and search the Sims 4. Now, what's really important is that you go to the official Sims 4 website um, the Sims 4 is actually created by a company called EA, so it should be pretty near the top. As you can see, EA.com, the Sims 4 available now. Just make sure it's an official website. Then as you can see, here we are on the Sims website. Um, this is it. But now what you now need to do is go to the top right, which says play for free, and you need to go and tap on this sort of downwards arrow here. It will then go and switch to an upwards arrow. Go and click on Origin for Mac, because then we can go and download the Sims 4 through it just like that. So basically Origin is a launcher that we need. Um, so here it is. So now all we now need to do is press on download now and we need to go and tap on Origin for Mac again. And now it should go and start downloading. As you can see, it says, do you want to go and allow downloads? I'll press allow like this. Now, if we go to the top right, we can go and tap on this download icon and we can go and see the current progress. As you can see, it's about 100 megabytes. So I'll catch up with you once it's finished. So it's now finished downloading. So either you can go and run this DMG file from your downloads in Safari or if you're using a different browser, you can always go and find your downloads from opening up your finder and then go to your downloads folder there. And then when you go and see it, all you need to do is go and double tap on it like so. And then you'll go and get this pop up here, which says origin and applications. And then what you need to do is click on origin and hold on it and then just drag it into the applications folder just like so and there we go we've now gone and done that and once you've done it all you can do is close off that there now all you need to do is tap on the magnification glass in the top right or you can press on command and space at the same time and this is going to open something called spotlight search and then what you need to do is type in origin just like so and then hit enter and then it will say origin is an app downloaded from the internet are you sure you want to open it up Go and tap on open, it's safe, um, it's made by EA. Then what you need to do is make sure you agree to the end license agreement, which I already do, I've read it. And then I had this pop up here where I need to end my password, so I'll go and install that helper now. Then as you can see, we've got a few optional settings. Personally, I'm gonna go um, and untick these here because I don't need them. But yeah, I'm gonna, then gonna go and press okay. So if you already have an EA account, go and sign in now. However, if you don't, then you can go and create one. You must have um, an origin or EA account in order to go and download the Sims 4. So yeah, go and create one if you don't have one. And now here we are on origin. And as you can see, we've got this update here. That's correct, United Kingdom for me. Make sure yours is correct as well. Now all you need to do is go over to the left hand side and go and tap on browse games, just like so, under store. And then you can go and tap on the Sims like this, and then just going to tap on the sims 4 and this is going to go and take you straight to the sims 4 download page and then you can scroll down and where mine says view in library yours may say something like get or even purchase but don't worry the sims 4 is completely free um, and yeah mine says view in library because i've had it already before on other computers so yeah go and add it to your library and then once it's in your library you can go and download it now if you're struggling to find the sims 4 then all you need to do is go up to the top left where it says search games and more and then you can go and type in sims 4 like so hit enter and then and you can scroll through here. Now, as you can see, there are actually 72 results. This is because when you go and search The Sims 4, you're viewing all of the expansion packs as well. And then scroll through the filters until you go into the option of a game type, which is quite near the top here. Tap there and then tap on base games because otherwise you have so many um, sort of expansion packs and things like that. And then here it is. You can then go and tap on it and go and download it. So I'm going to go and tap on view in library like so. And then as you can see, I now have this option to go and download it. So I can then go and press on download. You just need to choose where you want to install it to and then you can go and press on next um, and you need to agree to the license agreement which I've already read I'll then tap next and there we go it's now downloading as you can see in the bottom left I can go and see the progress and now you're probably wondering how do I go and play it once it's going to finish downloading well all you need to do is open up the origin app like so and you can then come to your library and you can then go and click on it and where it currently says pause download there's going to be a play button and then you can go and play the sims 4 it's that easy if you guys found this useful please consider leaving a like Peace.